Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Little Friends. It's episode number 65-ish, I guess. Oh my god, it's been such a long time, I know, guys. But hey, trust me, it is worth to wait. I Today I, I'm gonna do a pretty cool build. Uh, now looking at this entire city, it's a mess, I know. We have so many gaps, so many areas to fill in with builds from France, of course. But... We'll get there, unless, you know, something crazy g comes up and uh, messes up with my save game or whatever. But guys, uh, today we are building, uh, it's called, let me uh, refresh my memory, Place de la Concorde from, uh, from Paris. I was thinking what to do, what to build, you know, something very new, something crazy after such a long break of Little France. And the reason why we made that big break is because, well, uh, guess what? Uh, we had issues with the mods, right? A lot of mods, uh, we, I uh, waited for them to be updated and, you know, to make sure nothing is being, it's broken or breaks the, the save game. You know what, better let me show you first what we are going to build today exactly. Here is the Louvre Museum and uh, here is Place de la Concorde, right? And if you look uh, straight ahead, guess what we have? Very soon, guys, very soon. When we will reach 30k subscribers, maybe not, uh, <laughs> we will do Arc de Triumph. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that's going to happen later. For now, Place de la Concorde, guys. This one, it's a really cool uh, plaza. Uh, it has this uh, big obelisk, obelisk uh, in the middle and two fountains there. Some statues. There are some statues over here. Some uh, extra statues over here as well. And if you go to the, the, the road, you know, level on right to see exactly what do we have. We have also these nice, interesting lamps. This is the, 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 the big, two of the big uh, statues. I had to use something different. It, it's a man, it's not, these are looking like women, but I, I use men. Uh, I don't have this kind of um, uh, statues in uh, City Skylines, unfortunately. Uh, but uh, it was really fun. Look at these big roads. Look at this big, crazy and messy, messy thing. It's amazing. I love it. It's, I, th that's why I actually get back. I got back with the... Uh, with, with such a big build, I want to say. Well, you know, I love a lot uh, doing these kind of builds, like roads, intersections and whatnot. And after such a long, long break, even though I, I'm playing the game, I'm, I, I'm showing you, I'm uh, doing new series. And uh, I, I've started the series called uh, Snackovia, which is completely vanilla. But I, and I'm playing by econ with economy and whatnot, and I started that uh, extra live stream uh, series uh, on Twitch. Um, but still, I'm 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 around here. Little France didn't die, so which is good. Getting back to the uh, build over here, uh, guys, I found some crazy good, amazing, beautiful uh, roads. They are curbless, and you can do whatever with these roads. They're amazing. I wish the creator could do few more, like with eight lanes and so on, because that would be freaking amazing. Uh, maybe I can contact him. Anyways, uh, it, it is the first time ever when I'm using these roads, so I've tried my very best to, to you know, to make them fit, to make them work properly, and everything be, the, you know, not correctly, but to be very close to what it is uh, in real life there. You might see during these time lapse a lot of mistakes or a lot of things that are missing or not missing or maybe they are play being placed wrong and, and so on. Uh, trust me, there are lots of fixes that were done also off camera because I can't do a five hours <laughs> lives, uh, time lapse. So yes, a lot of things are being changed, but what you see during these time lapses is you know the main idea, the, the main work I, uh, I I did and put for this entire build, and I am pretty satisfied. I know it might get even a tiny bit better, but I don't know how much better, and I don't think it would have worth working a bit, a bit, a bit more uh, than I already did. But hey, who knows? So the big problem was with this huge oval 
it's not an oval bout, but yeah, let's call it oval bout. Um, as you can see there, I also discovered another thing, another amazing thing, guys. Y you saw those rows, right? When you, you know, link two type of roads, like sunken roads with flat roads, well, these roads, these curbless, curbless roads, they are not flat, but they are sunken. The, the, the thing is that they are not at the same uh, depth as the normal roads. There is something, uh, the depth of these roads, it's somewhere in the middle between the usual sunken roads and the flat ones. And I was like, what is going on? And, and in that intersection, it looks like the, the road is being broken. Well, I found a fix. The fix is named, it's called Curb Height Adjuster. As soon as I got this mod, I didn't do anything to it, guys. It was created by Chameleon, one amazing guy, and Algernon. Everything is now being fixed in that intersection and probably many other intersections in Little France amazing you can find it in the mod collection guys if you are interested and also these curbless roads you can find them in my uh, little friends collection number two i think it is yes in number two because i have two collections with assets ah, that's my tea uh good so a lot of work was uh, done for these uh, roads for sure. Um, I'm also using the B.O.B. mod. It's another crazy mod that I can't... I mean, I find it extremely useful. It's B.O.B. the tree and probe replacer. What that mod does allows you to change all trees, all props, everything on the map, everything that belongs to a building, everything that belongs to a road, and so on. That's amazing. What I've done... You know, all roads have different type of props. I don't want to make those props disappear anymore, hell no, but instead I w I've done something else. I've replaced those props. For instance, you can see props uh, that, that the vanilla road sign props, they are not pretty cool, I know, but you can replace those with something else. In my case, I replaced them with garb with very small trash bins. Hell yeah, the roads are so good. Uh, you know, there are some different type of uh, electrical boxes on the roads. I replace those with uh, some uh, street ads. You can do this with all the props. You can replace those uh, uh, light poles as well and everything. I feel like I, I, I'm in a new world with all these new mods. That's amazing. Trust me, guys. Uh, but uh, yeah, th this is what, uh, you know, turns... City Skylines into a very realistic, I want to say, city software builder or whatever. Uh, yes, guys, we have the new airport DLC. Hello, nerds. I know. And because of that, I think we will do also a very small airport somewhere uh, in Little France. And that is because I don't want to... This way, I'm not going to subscribe to like a lot of assets and all sorts of things from the workshop, custom ones, because you know what, those vanilla ones, most of them, especially the the taxiways, the uh, all sort of roads and whatnot, they look pretty good, and also the airports. But we shall see about the airports. As long as the roads are looking good, I am fine. So yeah, that that's one of the greatest things. Now, coming back, he coming getting back here, there is a big bubble bubulation. Um, about these roads uh, because I'm using like three of them to make one, three roads of four lanes which in total is like 12 lanes uh, it's messing up in intersection things look so bad in intersections and I can't use the um, node controller properly I can't use the uh, intersection marking tool mod either and that's it's killing me softly uh, but it is what it is in the end, so we have whatever. I think it's, it, it's doable. You, you see that in, in the uh, right side of the intersection where the asphalt is being broken? Again, that is being fixed with the help of the curb height adjuster mod. God bless the creators. That's all I can say. Good. Um, here I'm starting adding some buildings. Uh, I understood that there is a 
Federal International Football Association, FIFA, um, building there. I don't know. I just plopped down some random buildings just to make something look as much similar as possible with what's there in real life or at least the shape of it. I don't even know what to, to say. But you know what? I like it. It's there to stay. It's just a crazy amount of uh, things. Uh, and if you guys, <laughs> if you're looking at my population, don't look at my population. Yes, look at my population. It's amazing. 100. Actually, at the point I will reach 125k. Hell yeah, mother. Yes, indeed. Uh, and <laughs> people <laughs> are keep, they keep moving in my city. And uh, as you can see. We are on a plus with a, we are on profit guys 55k on profit even though i'm playing with the in, infinite money but um it's good guys the the uh, the income is really wealthy and actually it's, that is because i <laughs> i raised all the taxes at 12 percent you know what let me tell you a story uh all the taxes were at five percent what no one goes to only 5% taxes, hell to the no, uh, but since I started playing the vanilla series, uh, yeah, 12% is the way, the only way. Uh, at, I think at a point I will have to give some time to little friends and build the industrial area properly, because at this moment, uh, people are complaining. Uh, the commercial uh, buildings are complaining they don't have enough goods, they don't have enough workers. Most of the workers are pretty smart. Uh, the industry is complaining that they don't have enough workers and that is because too many of them you know, uh, are, went to school. We need stupid people to go to in industrial zone as well, industrial area. So yeah, I have to fix all of these and I have to give you know, to, to, to try making available more goods to the people so we can have a really healthy and nice city. At this moment, the traffic is way too good for such a big city. It's way too good, guys. It's like above 70% and even if you go and check out the intersections that seem to be, you know, with a lot of traffic, having a lot of traffic, actually they don't have a lot of traffic. The traffic is pretty, is flowing pretty damn good. It's like only a few cars, like five, ten, five, eight cars waiting in the la in, in a row, which is nothing, nothing. So, I want to have real traffic, which of course it will kill my FPS. Because, by the way, FPS is already dead. Uh, but oh my god, this looks good. Uh, as a side note, I know there are some cobblestone roads over there. But I'm not gonna use those, I'm not gonna change those, I need these roads. And I don't want to, you know, plop on top of it some, you know, manual stuff like either decals that are looking like cobblestones or some other type of uh, assets, you know, to, to, to make it look like it's cobblestone on, on the ground. But uh, yeah, I, I mean, I feel... You know what? No reason why having cobblestone on the on the on the roads. <sighs> the tea is good. It's good. Uh, yes, here I I went up. Hey, you know what? Let me add a bit more realism to this building, and I am adding some scaffolding uh, or to cover most of the the facade. And um, I'm at a point I will uh, you know think about it and maybe. Uh, not maybe, I will go with some big billboards and to cover some of the facades there as well. And here, of course, we need some, not garbage, well, some garbage and debris is coming from that renovation site or whatever. So, we make, you know, again, a tiny bit of more realism, reason, let, let's say. I'm just throwing up there some props, nothing uh, in particular, but enough to make things look pretty, uh, pretty good. Um, I'm a bit sad. And the reason why I'm a bit sad is because I'm not happy. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's not the only. The, no, of course, of course, I'm not happy, so I'm sad. Anyways, uh, the only the reason I'm I'm sad is that I struggle a lot trying to get more traffic in this area. 
and it's uh, I couldn't do it. I couldn't pull down a lot of traffic. I've tried even to redirect uh, the traffic from the highway, but cars prefer not to drive through this uh, big roundabout crazy area, but to take it uh, in uh, different areas. Anyways, if in the future I'm gonna build the Arc de Triumph, it's not going to be placed in the same spot as it is in real life. It might be anywhere on the map actually, but I, I will try covering a lot of uh, areas from, uh, from this one, from this build. And this way, if more people will live around, uh, there will be more shops uh, and offices uh, around this area. Probably we will see more cars and uh, you know driving uh, through this uh, particular area. Let me know in the comments if you guys are still watching this at the minute of I don't know, 16 minute. If you are watching and you love this series and you want to see more, hit me out in uh, in the chat with uh, an hashtag hashtag uh, little friends. Please. Thank you. Um, apart from that, um, what was I saying before? Uh, the hashtag, I don't know, it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, I, I was thinking maybe I should do a cinematic, like a five minute cinematic maybe, uh, or maybe a longer one with a city showcase. And maybe we can do it during the day and during the night. I don't know, all day long we want to do it, yes. Uh, by the way, I, I just noticed looking at the at the time lapse. I just noticed also that I've changed those signs. So some of the roads have stop signs, have uh, speed signs, have uh, that sign that forbids you, that tells you that uh, you are not allowed to turn left or right, or depends on uh, on, on the roads. So I, where I have those kind of signs, I am replacing them manually with um, with better looking signs, not the vanilla ones. Uh, by the way, there I did a, a small improvisation here because I can't use my, you know, my, my intersection marking tool on these roads properly. So I copied a segment separately. Uh, I made all the, you know, the, the lines on on top of that segment and then just, you know, copy paste it on the road. It's not going to affect the road in any ways. It's just to be there and that's it. Yeah, it's a, by the way, it's a, it's a cool trick in my opinion, so if you are interested, uh, you can copy uh, the trick. And then if you are copying the trick, hit me out in the ha in the chat, guys, with the hashtag, hashtag, very good tip, skip, I don't know, something. Good. So, at the end of this, of the time lapse, because uh, I hate leaving, you know, if I'm doing a build, I hate leaving empty area around that build, so I'm adding some trees. I'm going to do that. There are two parks or alongside that big boulevard, so I'm gonna do a small part. Actually, not a small. I'm gonna do a part of that uh, park as well, uh, and there will be a lot of uh, you know repetitive um, builds or fixes uh, off camera. I'm gonna do some other uh, fixes off camera. Uh, but you guys can probably, hopefully, you are going to notice them uh, in the uh, cinematics at the end of this um, video. Uh, yes, oh yeah, and I turned this boulevard, which is a vanilla one, but I made it look cool. I covered it with uh, some asphalt and then uh, I'm using the, um, you know, lines, uh, my, my own lines. And uh, I made those parking areas, by the way. The cars can park on the side road. I turn, you know, I make them green so it looks like it's for bikes, even though cars are parking on the bike pathways. I believe it's the same in your countries or at least in France. Please do let me know, because if it's not, then I'm gonna get rid of those parking um, slots there. Guys, uh, like one more minute or two more minutes until the end of this uh, time lapse. I want to say thank you for watching guys, hope you did enjoy this because I saw you don't enjoy that much the vanilla series, which actually it is pretty damn fun, but hey, it's up to you. If you don't want to watch it, you should watch it. Uh, uh, anyways, I'm going to continue with both series for now. Uh, and in the meantime, I'm working at a third one. What? Yes, I'm, I'm working on at the third series. What? Crazy scheme. I know. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, enjoy the cinematics, hit me out in the chat, and uh, see you in the next one. Take care. I salute you. <laughs>